It's Feedback Gaming. We've cleared out Africa. We have pushed them out of the Arabias. We are currently at war with Corbin's commune. And this is everything that's happening in the world. There are a few wars that recently just kicked off. The Bear Block has declared war on the Buffer Bad Boys. The Western Takeaway Triple Team has declared war on the Eastern Takeaway Team. And the United States, the Fanatical Freedom Faction, is one to spread its fanatical freedom to the United States of Central America. There you go, guys. I wanted to make the world a little bit more interesting. I decided to do it just then. There you go. All nice and interesting now, right? You happy? There we go. I wanted, to, I wanted to make things a bit different, basically, by making a few extra little wars in the game, okay? Make things nice and spicy, you know? Nice and fresh and spicy. Make a few more air wings. There we go. Loads of extra divisions. So what we're going to plan to do now is invade. Oh, I've got the no CB turned on. Turn that off. <clears throat> no cheating, days. No cheating, no cheating. So if you guys have gathered, I mean, <clears throat> I don't know if it's blatantly obvious to you, but for, to get this impact with lots of extra factions, I had to use console commands, if anyone hasn't figured it out. So initially, all the way up to me making my own little Tito's faction around this area, it was all legit, but there was no console commands. Everything was using the in-game mechanics as such. And then after the point where all the factions changed, that's when I loaded up all the console commands and jiggered around with the whole map and whatnot. Just to make things actually interesting. Because otherwise, it would have been literally the Allies, which would be in the, pretty much the whole world, against Tito's bros. And that wouldn't be fun to watch, because you've seen that a thousand times. I've, I've got loads of series in my playlist. You can watch that all over again. I am really sorry. Yes, this series is cheating. Yes, there is cheats happening right on this scenario. But am I cheating to my own avail, my own advantage? Not really, because these, these cheats are just specific to make the game more fun for you guys to watch. If you agree with me in the comments, let me know. Uh, I know that it will probably make a few of you a bit high rate, but eh, you can't please everyone. But there you go. I'll let you guys know, okay? I, di I didn't try and deceive you. I didn't try to deceive you. I'll let you all know exactly where I stood. I'll let you know exactly what's going on. Going on. Tanks are still on their way. Almost arrived. Taking their sweet ass time. And you guys, where are you guys going? Oh, you're all going here. You can exercise too. Oh, I realize that some of these are not all... Oh! Okay. I thought these divisions were ones that I'd hired. I haven't got an offensive doctrine field marshal, have I? I could get one though. By... Yeah, I could technically get one by... Uh, just making this guy fight with uh, an extended combat width. Hmm. 22, yep, yeah, do that. So one of my Twitch shirt is asking me, how many hours of Hoi Ford do you have? I think it last count was, last count as it stands right now, I think it's 1300 hours. We're behind on steel again. What are we behind on? Super heavy tanks. Are they are they elite? Yeah, they are. So they're the uh, my tanks are always going to be first priority. Can I upgrade my tanks for extra speed? I want to get more speed on these. Oh, I was making super heavies, wasn't I? I've completely forgotten about that. Where did I put the super heavies? Did I make the super heavies? Oh, well, these are the super heavies. Okay. Oh, yeah, I remember making them and I, I, I just like completely forgot about them. You know what I could technically do is I could say that's the super heavy. Then we're behind on combat width. 
And then we do 22. Yeah, there we go. That's what we want. We need more super heavies, though. 906 days. Eep. I think for this, we would need the maintenance as well, wouldn't we? Kind of exercising these is a bad idea because I'm losing super heavies, aren't I? Eep. Since we've got so many moderns, I guess we can just switch this out to super heavies. We're making six a week. We're just under six a week. We go, we're done with you. Oh no, we want to make sure you guys are maxed out. Getting 1.07 a day. One point. Can upgrade, upgrade the tacticals as well. Mm, yeah. And then when we get Jet Tactical Bomber 2, then we'll switch those out. In fact, we'll just make this as big as it'll go. And then we'll attack into France. So are we fabricating? We'll do it now. We've got this border here. Which I'm not overly fussed about. And I guess we've got here as well. Now, we'll take out France as quick as we can. France is pretty strong. we are just got to smash through this border here. And then we'll be alright. And we've got quite a mixture of planes there. I was hoping we'd have quite a lot of older ones, but we don't. Okay, so the idea here is we smash into France and Spain. Therefore, we have an opening to invade Britain. And then we finally enter the war and spread our sweet Tito, Titoism goodness. Okay, Korea's been annexed in China. So the Chinese initial push was very strong, even though the Japanese have more divisions than them. Hmm. Uh, one, one boat for the Chinese, 12 for the Japanese. I think this war has become a stalemate. It does look like the Western Takeaway Triple Team is the victorious side against the Eastern Takeaway Tag Team. Belarus has been annexed by the Russians. Not looking too good for the... Uh, Oh, they've released Belarus. Belarus has joined the European Urinals. The Belarus is separated into two segments. Okay. Getting resistance in occupied Greece. Let's stop exercising now. Estonia has joined the Bear Block. Czechoslovakia has joined the Siena. Sorority. Ah, okay, that's a concern because that means we've got a northern border we have to worry about. But there's only five divisions, so I don't care. Alright, you guys are exercised now. And we're going to put you here. Put you here. And then... I guess the majority of you guys can just go here. That is a lot of planes. I think the AI automatically moves the planes out of the way, don't they? If they detect it, it's over capacity. So surely they'd automatically think to move them, wouldn't they? Because there's naval bombers there that I don't want there. Mm, okay, we have to do that. No!
Okay. Alright, how many days? A few more days. Okay, how are the Americans doing? Initially, they made a push against the Mexican... Oh! Oh no, it looks like... Oh! And Guatemala has been nuked. So it looks like the Central Americans have pushed out from Mexico. And they've occupied this, because this was originally Mexican, wasn't it? Yeah. The United Central America is not lying down and taking this, are they? Hmm. The heat is on. Oh! Austria has joined the bear block. Oh, no, they're both of bad boys. Alright, it looks like the both of bad boys are pretty fucked, though. They've only got uh, Estonia and Austria. Remains People Republic has joined Corbyn's commune. Okay. Interesting. They left the bear block. Oh, it's because they flipped to communism. Okay. Interesting. Oh, we've got another landing here. There seems to be Canadian troops. No, Indian, but British Malaya. These are Canadian. Um, Australian. Romania's joined the war. Oh, of course, I'm going to be at war with you now, am I? So in that case, you guys... Could. Be here. So we are producing almost one super heavy a day now. Almost. Remains People's Republic has capitulated. Well, that was quick. I don't think they had any divisions, did they? So they just instantly crumbled. So this is going to be quite tricky to push through. These look like... Oh, the mediums. Okay. So maybe it might not be that tricky. I'm not sure. Uh, why am I not commanding... Someone in my Twitch chat just asked, Why am I not commanding my puppet's troops? Uh, because I think their troops are rubbish and they'll just get bogged down in my own troops. Remember, the maximum combat width is 80. If you've got troops that have sufficient, insufficient firepower or not full strength, they will be hindering you and not helping you in combat. So you're better off using your own divisions, which you know that are full strength and have like crazy high firepower. Trying to condense as much firepower into a small area as possible. In that case, this is going to be in the Alps. So that is the plan anyway. I should have done that. There we go. Oh, we have our first nuke. So, in all honesty, we don't have any nuclear bombers, do we? We got any in reserve? No, I don't think we do. Eep. <coughs> okay. Belarus has capitulated. A second time. What wars we've still got going? Japanese, Yugoslav War, British German War, American Hudurian War, American Brazilian War. Oh, so Americans have declared war on Brazil as well. Okay. There's a bit of a landing here happening in uh, Colombia. Union of Britain has declared war on Norway. Who's Norway's faction? Oh, they've declared war on Europe Stan. Okay, I don't know why they did that. I think it was part of the focus tree, maybe. Yeah, one of the war one of the focus trees is to attack the Netherlands and attack Norway, part of the UK, it's like as a defensive purpose, isn't it? Sixty-four percent. Researching stuff for researching stuff stake. Sake, sake, steak. Ooh, well, well, well. Seems to be bobbing up and down there. Something to do with the puppets and the supply of that, isn't it? I don't understand what's causing that. Or it might actually be Germany now, I think about it. With boost relations.
Let's have a look at these tank, these divisions we've got right now. So, I'm going to exercise you a bit more because I like getting these guys up to maximum strength. So, they've got nice, lots of firepower. So, these are the super heavy tanks. 6.6 .6 armor. That's pathetic. The full amount, if they have all the super heavies, should be a total of 50 armor. Look at that guy's one super heavy tank. Makes 22 combat with at 50 armor. That's insane. Take that off. It gives it an extra 0.4. That's ah, not worth it. We need a total of 383 days. We're producing 1.7 super heavies a day now. So think about it, super heavy and infantry is actually kind of a viable strat, isn't it? Because it makes your infantry like rock hard. Republic of Guatemala has joined the Colonial Comrades Cooperating Coop. Alright, uh, submarines are maxed now. So I think the war's ended. Yeah, it has. This is what tends to happen. This, if there's not a major powers in the war, what tends to happen is the war concludes before it's not fully over as such. So we've still got this kind of border nation here. Hmm. We've run out of things to research, right? We have a Cassus Belly against Corsica. Alright, here we go. Not overly confident this is going to work, but we'll give it a shot. The biggest issue we're going to find is we're going to burn through a lot of super heavies when their division's not max strength. So their fighting capability is going to be kind of limited. Alright, we are going to attack here. Make sure all of our dudes are on full attack capability. Yes. Oh, you're over capacity. Move you guys here. Uh, now they're all maxed out. Anyway, we're moving now. We're moving. It's all good. I'm not really sure how this is going to go down. I think we'll have more success in the south than the north. Yeah, we will. Oh no, we're completely decimating them. The plan, ideally, would be to do that, and then move all the way down the back. It's kind of weird to me seeing these, like, super heavy self-propelled artillery and modern tanks. They just look like, I don't know, look like, I don't know what to describe these as. They look kind of like Panzer 3s almost. Well, we didn't really get the encirclement that I would have liked, but hey, it looked pretty good. It feels to me like, you know, when tanks retreat, they should kind of take more casualties, don't you think? Because, I don't know, the ability for a tank to retreat feels... I don't know, that's, maybe that's not true. I guess they can reverse pretty quick when they're given orders, can't they? Oh my god, look at the casualties. Shooting those planes down. They're probably using a lot of old models. Alright, we have a breakthrough here. So we should technically just go for it. Actually, now I think about it. There we go. Now that is what we want. And go. Look at all the amount of planes clipping. Oh, 
What does this actually do? I've never really looked at it because I don't usually go for trade induction. Uh, surface detection increase, raiding capability, and organization. Extra defense. Okay, interesting. That boosts everything. Czechoslovakia is gone. Uh, okay, the Balkan nation has gone from an integrated puppet back to a puppet again. Okay. Paris is a level 10 fort. Okay, we ain't breaking that anytime soon. The Magiot line is still there. Alright, we're gonna go aggressive. Yep, aggressive, aggressive. Go here, go here. Is that a fort too? A little bit. Oh no, this isn't a fort, so we should go for the south of Paris. We need to whip around the back of them. Um, go here. That is a big air wing. Really? I'm going to make sure that the bombers are operating. I don't really care about the rest. Do, 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 do. There we go. And then go. It's going to be a tricky nut to crack, but we'll be able to get through it. What's their 50%? Uh, so pretty much going to have to occupy the full country again. Most of the victory points. I don't know, there's, there's a lot of victory points. It's difficult. It's only... Um, I don't know, actually. Maybe think about it. Is it about 40% national unity when you invade France as Germany? I think so. We got Calais, Fall of Paris. Go for Calais. Yugoslavia, North Africa has capitulated. Oh boy. Oh. Okay. All right, they're pushing back on us. Okay. I guess they've pushed through here. No, I guess they've gone through North Africa, haven't they? I guess I can use my uh, my allies' troops here. 135 divisions. Damn. Not a general. I need a field marshal. Uh, you'll do. All right, go, 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 boys. All right, France. What is your capitulation rate at? We need to take a new two or three big major cities before we'll uh, have absolute victory. Not really making a lot of gains either, are we? I think we've lost all the heavy tanks. Yep, they're all dead. <laughs> they're all dead. And we're losing moderns to Eep. Come on, that's got to be it. Do I have to take breast? I think I'm going to have to. There's a few forts here too. 
making my life really difficult. Oh my god, the amount of air combat here. Hey, we did it. Okay. France, pop it. Yugoslavia, pop it. And France again, even though the first one was Spain. Pop it. Yep. Done. Alright guys, I think we'll end it here. Thanks for stopping by. Remember to like and subscribe. Drop any comments below. It looks like Tito's Yugoslavia is expanded. Communism has grown. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Alright guys, hope you have a good day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.